you son of a bitch. Wag one reaction world, welcome back to the channel. I am here again back to the channel with another reaction video. In today's video, I'm gonna check out Family Guide and the title said Roasting Everything Black. What that's supposed to mean, but guys, I am gonna check it out and see what it's all about. So let's watch it together and see what type of roasting they are talking about. Let's go. I was brought up on the streets, no moms and dads. I had to fend for myself with my own two hands. What? Say I'm hurt. Rock. Tell you why. I got a hangnail. Hangnail. Hanging from my cuticle. A hangnail. Hangnail. It ain't beautiful. It hurts like a bitch that I did last night. I'd have to pretend not to notice people's race day. Hey, you seen Reggie around? Which one is Reggie? Uh, he's got a gold tooth, a uh, diamond earring. Um, he's got that big necklace with a dollar sign on it. Uh... He's always grabbing his crotch when he's telling a story, like the one about when he found out his mother is really his grandmother. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne, uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks, Eddie. Oh, hey, Reggie. He's white. <laughs> Germany. Look, there's the Black Forest. We're going to take the whole family on vacation this summer. The ten of us going to load up the Impala and head on down to Hot Atlanta. Hey, I heard that. Hey, thanks for the tip on that check cash in place. I was in and out with one ID. You know my boy is out on bail next week, right? Man, it seems like yesterday he was in juvie. Guys, we should go to that auction tomorrow and buy it. I mean, can you imagine if we had our own medieval castle? I bet it'd be even more fun than when I went to White Castle. All black restaurant. Huh. Names are a little deceiving. That truck's coming up on us awful fast. Those are some Ku Klux Klan. Oh, Redneck. I'm afraid I do. We're being chased by ghosts. No, that's not ghosts. And nothing to console me <laughs> but the screaming black dolphins. Man, that dollar's getting all over town. <laughs> yeah, like your mama. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, man, you know I'm just playing. Hey, man, you seen that movie, The Cove? The Cove? How you just gonna be talking about The Cove? I mean, I saw the movie, but I was like, oh, Oh, honey, I'm so excited to finally meet your girlfriend. Here she comes now. Yoo-hoo, baby! Woo-hoo, baby! Oh, no! Right. Guys... This family guide, it's very hilarious, it's very funny, but it's a very sensitive topic to most people out there, to most black people. I mean, this thing don't really bother me that much. I don't know if because I grew up in Jamaica and the Caribbean, you know what I say? Most people like in America or you know, London, England, probably Canada, they will find some of these scenes in this family guide very sensitive because they go through a lot of like, you know, mercy, discrimination, racism thing. You understand mercy? Because they live amongst other race of people. But in my country, you know, we have all type of people in my country, but because our motto is out of many, one people we have chinese we have indian we have white we have all type of people in our country but it dominate by black and you know no one don't discriminate anyone you have classism in our country you know like people that upper class they say they have money and stuff like that but when it come on to like you know what a lot of people face in america canada and england and the big country there, you know europe whatever we're dominate by white people you understand me i say they might find these kind of stuff that in this family guide very sensitive to them and i can understand because you have to leave it to know it but i find it very hilarious they're very brave as well to you know put this out but it's a reality it's definitely a reality that's how society see each other based on or they dress, their race, their skin color, their religion, they choose to practice or whatever. But at the end of the day, we are all one human race on this beautiful planet. Let's dive back over into it and finish. Enjoy. All right, let's check our YouTube channel and see how we're doing. YouTube Boy, channel? went right after Cleveland, didn't they? Jeez, that word looks even harsher when it's in all caps. This company's going to make it on my ideas. Here are the products we'll be unveiling in the new fiscal year. The African American Heart Monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. African American yeah. Heart Monitor. Yeah. Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> My, oh, he did. Barney 
Frank. And I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling Republicans. I burned the sun, Dad. Globe Trotters. That was a cold swish. Put her there. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> That's old Bernie right there. You see a dead body. Cleve, it's 1955. Please re-enter the clubhouse in a more stereotypically animated fashion. Lord Almighty, I done see me a dead body down by the lake. Sure enough, I thought I'd go deep and dumb when I saw me that dead body. Cleve, calm down. You're not making any sense. If I were you, I'd keep your mouth shut till you talk to a lawyer. I didn't kill anybody. Oh, my God. Is this what black people see all the time? You know, I usually don't come to funerals. Since I'm a cop, I always wind up getting hit by a black woman with a purse. You find the man who uh, did this. Ma you what's bring your him relationship to, to Brian? You make sure this angel sure child right didn't die for nothing. Slap the hell out of him, grandma. Okay. Hey, hey, don't hey. play with that black hey, grandma. What's your parents doing here? Oh, they surprised us with a visit after I told them about your recent discovery. Yes, Peter. We hear you're a Negro now. Yep, I even got my own posse. Hey, uh, Big Dog, T-Bone, Shades, uh, you guys go make yourself some sandwiches. We'll hook up later. My jacket's in the kitchen. Please don't write on it. The same way Paula Dean got her <laughs> cooking show taken off the air. By saying the one word you can't come back from. What? Say the word? The N-word. Right now? Don't say yeah. Together. Don't say Ready? You bet. <gasps> you better don't you say You could have just quit the show. Uh oh. Hey, you're that black guy I saw in the news conference, ain't you? Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. This is car 15. I'm gonna need backup. I've got a stolen vehicle here. But this is my car. Suspect's <laughs> getting belligerent. What? Officer if you're black, you are guilty until proved well, innocent. Did it. That's how they we do actually it. actually made a movie. Yeah, I don't want to call this a movie. We made a film. We made a film, guys. Here we go. <laughs> This is garbage. I'm just happy for a night out. Ah, uh, listen to these lyrics. I rip it hardcore like porno flick bitches. I roll with groups of ghetto <laughs> bastards with biscuits. We we'll write those lyrics. Translation for white people. I give 110 percent when it comes to helping my community, even though I occasionally associate with some less than reputable characters. All right. So as I'm chilling in Verona when my homie busts out with Yo Romeo. Who is that? that Snoop Dogg. That look Google. like Snoop Dogg. The problem is, <laughs> Juliet's peeps are like East Coast rappers and my posse's representing West Saeed. Just like my boys Tupac and Biggie, know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying. That's racist, man. Yeah, that's just straight ignorant, dog. <laughs> Peter, what are you doing, crack? What the fuck? Hey, at least I'm not drinking, Brian. Yeah, this isn't exactly a good substitute. Where'd you get crack? From Black's. What? Yeah, right behind Black's hardware store. There's a white guy selling it. Oh, oh shit. The army, you're too young. Besides, the army's weak. Now the Marines, those are the men you want to Are you kidding, Lois? The army's great. You get to save money for college, there's free food, and all the brown people you can rape. Peter, where what? are you going? Last day on Earth, last <laughs> chance to do it. I'm all the brown people you can rape. Yell the N -word. That's racism. And the block. They respected me for saying it. King of the black people. Rose, bitches. Don't hit Sam. Don't, don't hit Sam. Don't hit Sam. And send. Damn. You son of a bitch. bitch. I told you. What did he do now? He don't listen to you. He don't listen to you. What you did? That's what guy. people do. Just they messed up you your life. Oh yeah. You're telling me. Oh, come on. Those kinds of jokes aren't helping. Well, what do you want me to say? You're being silly. I mean, Jerome and I dated over 12 inches ago. 12 inches ago. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be poking around. Once you go black, you will always remember that. That's what they say. Forming slow pitch softball leagues. Well, whatever makes them happy. Live and let live. That's what I say. And I'm sure that's what they say too. Hello, I'm Cleveland from South Carolina. Wow, you're a different color than me. Would you like to be equals? We now what? return to Rodney, King of Queens. Rodney, did you take out the trash? Oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh no, she didn't. Hey, Stewie, they got Stewie. That's what most oh, black God, people experience when they date out of their race. Hey, it's the crows from Dumbo. 
Hey, you guys seen my son? Well, I done seen about everything, but I sure enough ain't seen your That's an ill billy bird. Ah, that's good old-fashioned family racism. Um, uh, excuse me. Hi. Yeah, is, is there like a human resources guy we could talk to? Um... I have a work-related grievance. What? Well, the quarters are too crowded, the hours are long, and, uh, you know, I don't like to be this guy, but a couple of the overseers have been making racial slurs. Hey, cats! <laughs> Get a slap on that whip! Sammy Davis Jr.? What are you doing up here? Whatever Frank tells me to do, man. Hey, Sam, get back in here and carry my golf clubs. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> Seems kind of racist, doesn't it? <laughs> no, no, because cause Sammy's in on it. Okay. But he's still carrying the clubs. Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. You know, Cohog Estates is a very exclusive neighborhood. I got an invitation to go to the mayor's house. Uh-huh. So you're telling me if I ran these plates, they'd come back clean. Absolutely. Clean as a whistle. Hold the attitude. If you all remember the plan, we walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? <laughs> that's a great idea. Let's go to Harvard. Oh, I don't know, you guys. We'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. Black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. We're not the first people to be dragged off against our will. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Damn it, I swear to God, I will turn this ship around. That works. Okay. Can we teach us a lesson? Yeah, that's even better. All right, if that's what you... Wait a minute. Go there, mailman. Me? No, the other black guy in shorts. Yes, you. <laughs> you, sir, are a racist and a rude one at that. So, you're not a mailman? Okay, yes, I am a mailman, but these are my 1983 Maurice Cheeks shorts. Well, I thought it'd be good to get out of the house. I don't like the kids being around that racist sunflower that's grown in our yard. Hey, boy, don't you come walking by this house. You're ignorant. Yeah, but... I look flow as racist. I'd like to say a couple of truths to the men in this audience. It's your fault we have Million so much violence in this country, and it's your fault we have so much violence in this country. You're making a mockery of Martin Luther King. I love this town, but nothing is ever as innocent as it seems. Atta boy, Ope. I was thinking of writing an article about you for my school paper. Do you charge black guys more or less? Mm, that's a hard question to answer. Most of them get a group rate. Come on, Alice. Not talk about work. Ah, jail is in prison. Prison is big and scary. A jail is just a sleeping deputy with keys that can be grabbed by a long broom handle or a mischievous dog. Do black people ever go to jail? No, they go to prison. <laughs> That's the difference. I must say, I do feel a strange satisfaction watching the black ball topple all those self-righteous white pins. Can't blame them for being self-righteous. The black ball's in their neighborhood uninvited. The black ball's done nothing wrong. If the black ball's innocent, it has nothing to fear. So guys, <laughs> very, very sensitive, but funny. Let me know what you think about this family guide down in the comment section. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out. Catch you on the next one. Have yourself a great day.